Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from My Porch Prints and today I'm going to be showing you just um, how quick and easy it is to put together this lavender clutch bag envelope from my Etsy shop. Um, it's a really great cute little piece, lots of bits and bobbles and layers. Um, it works great on its own or as part of a larger junk journal. So um, what I've done is I've printed out the kit, which is really just two pages, I think, plus papers that you can print on the back as well. And it comes out just looking like this once you cut the pieces out. And what I've also done is I've used some distress ink to ink some of the edges to give them just a little bit more dimension. And I left one piece here that's kind of unfinished, so I'm just going to show you how to do that real quick. Um, the first thing I like to do is to round out the corners, and I do that using a corner rounding punch. And I'll put a link for this below, but it makes rounding the corners just so much easier. So quick and easy. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my ink here. And I'm going to just ink the edges a little bit to add some uh, depth and dimension. If I can do it without making a big mess. I think I just got ink all over my thumb. Of course, I didn't bring any paper towels or Kleenex because I'm not usually this messy. There we go. So most of you are probably familiar with this. Um, I like to use a makeup sponge, but there's the tools that they actually make for doing this. But this is just a quick, easy way to add some really nice, uh, just antiquing to the edges of your pieces. Um, I started out using just a marker and a makeup sponge, and that actually works pretty well too, if you don't want to spend money on inks. But I'll put the links for these below too, just in case you want them for yourself. So quick, easy. And there we go. So to make the envelope, this is your main piece. And what you're going to want to do is um, fold it between the, the, the three sections. And um, one, one way to get it straight and nice is to use a ruler to just kind of make that first crease. Um, and I think what I want to do, I can't remember, I think I want to do this first one at the top first. There we go. And then I line up my edges here and just crease it. And then that gives me a guide for where this piece should go. So that's a good way to do it, to fold this top piece first. And then you've got your envelope. It's starting to, to look pretty cute already. And then what I want to do is go ahead and I'll glue these pieces in here. And that'll become the inside of my envelope. You can use, I guess, whatever kind of glue you're most comfortable with. I'm just going to use some craft uh, glue stick here. And usually I'm more thorough about this, but since I'm doing a how-to video, I'm not going to be super <laughs> concerned about how well this will stay together. I'll probably end up putting it in my craft drawer with a bunch of my other video projects. If I was going to sell this or something, I'd want to be really careful about putting it together, you know, really well with, with a good glue and, and whatnot. But for myself, this works pretty good. And like I said, it's really just very quick oops, and easy. I didn't line that up very well, did I? And um, the kit just makes it so simple to have this look professional and nice. And you've got your envelope already for decorating with your goodies. And this is kind of the fun part. You can choose um, what, what items you want to go in here. Oh, before we do this, I should probably mention, I print, put these into the kit oops, as well. 
these little um, clasps. They're just they're just paper, but they look kind of like a cute little old fashioned clasp. And I use these on the outside. And the way I attach them is using um, this mounting tape. It's dimensional, so it's kind of thick. And hold on, I'll go ahead and cut a piece for you. Show you how I put it on. So I just cut a really tiny little piece off. And then I cut that in half to make these little tiny poofy squares of tape. And I put them on the back of these, like so. I don't know if you can see that. And then you peel the sticky part off and you put them on your envelope. And it'll become a little closure for you. Unstick it. And if you want extra stick, you can use a little dab of glue if, if this doesn't stick strong enough for you. And then how I close it is I use a little string. You can see how I did it on this one. I just tie a little string to it and it becomes a closure. Super cute. So I won't put my string on just yet, but you can see how that works. And now I can decorate using all the little pieces. And this is the lavender clutch bag envelope. So it comes with all these cute little lavender decorations. And you can just play around with the design, kind of decide where you want your pieces to go, what makes the most sense, and then you can glue them down. So. I think I'm going to start with this cute little ruler, maybe put it at the bottom here. I'll kind of mark where the cutoff is. Oops. I need a bigger workspace. Everything keeps falling off my table. And you just can glue that down. Did you hear that? That was the sound of our water pump. We've got some flooding here this week. Spring decided to happen all at once. There we go. And um, same thing with this one. You can actually use it as a kind of like band to hold other pieces if you want to. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a try. I want the top of it like this. So I don't want it to be bigger than my fold, so I'm kind of measuring here. And then I kind of fold it to, to show me where to cut. There we go. And you can ink the edge of this too if you want it to match. And then I'll put a little dab of glue here and a dab of glue here. And this will make kind of a little band or pocket for me to slip other pieces into. Like that. And really, at this point, you can just layer your pieces however you want in whatever way seems to fit your style. The lavender clutch bag envelope. You could always decorate on the outside as well. Easy. Thanks for watching. <laughs>